How does nature's carbon cycle feed the soils? Each year, Europe produces 160 million tonnes of organic waste, of which 59 million tonnes are food scraps. This carbon and water-rich organic matter is often burned, which reduces energy production or is buried untreated, creating more pollution. Moreover, these practices destroy resources, prevent organic matter from going back to the soil and hinder the natural carbon cycle. Organic matter is essential to healthy soil. It protects and nourishes the microorganisms. It fixes nutrients, such as nitrogen and phosphorus, and reduces their losses by rain. It aerates the soil and promotes its permeability. It retains water and their dark colour helps swarm the soil. But how does organic matter go back to the soil? Through composting, which optimises biodegradation conditions and allows organic matter to re-enter the natural carbon cycle. There are two types. Firstly, industrial composting, which happens on controlled platforms. During the first phase, the material decomposes. The activity of the microorganisms then raises the temperature, which can reach 75 degrees Celsius. The objective is to neutralize any pathogens present in animal waste. This is called hygienization. When the temperature drops below 30 degrees Celsius, the maturation phase begins. The material is then gradually digested by other organisms, compost worms, mites and other insects. After three to six months, it becomes a carbon-rich like soil, compost. Compost quality is governed by national environmental standards and labels. However, its quality depends, first and foremost, on the organic waste to be composted, which must not be contaminated by non-biodegradable waste. On the other hand, home composting does not usually get hot, less than 30 degrees Celsius, and therefore can take two to four times longer. This ancient practice requires patience, specific know-how and regular turning in order to maintain microorganism activity. Compost regenerates the soil and promotes the growth of new plants. Through photosynthesis, they in turn will capture carbon from the atmosphere and perpetuate the carbon cycle. Using compost also helps fight climate change. The Four per Thousand Initiative has demonstrated that an annual increase of 0.4% in soil carbon stocks would offset the CO2 emitted into the atmosphere by human activity. Our food scraps are an essential resource. They maintain soil quality and perpetuate the carbon cycle. So, let's recycle them.